The overall goal of this procedure is to use digital image correlation to reveal the shrinkage strain distribution in a model tooth cavity restored with resin composite when it is cured. This is accomplished by first creating a model tooth with a filled cavity and a surface that will allow the needed observations. The second step is to create a speckled pattern on the specimen surface under observation so that its deformation can be captured by imaging. Next, capture images of the speckled surface before and after curing of the resin composite, along with images for calibration. The final step is to determine the deformation of the tooth model specimen by comparing the images taken before and after curing using the principles of image correlation. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show the areas of strain concentrations where debonding of the resin composite from the tooth surface could occur. The main advantage of this technique over the existing methods like strain gauge is that DIC can provide the visual images of the strain distribution over the entire observation surface. This method can help answer key questions in the development of resin composites for dental restorations, such as the level of shrinkage stress induced by the polymerization process. Demonstrating the procedure will be Ian Huxford, a junior scientist from my laboratory. As the first step, create tooth models. For silica glass tooth models, begin with a long cylindrical glass rod, 10 millimeters in diameter. Use a low-speed diamond saw to cut the rod into 10 millimeter long cylinders. 